House leadership remains adamant that the bills they have passed will help Oklahomans combat high inflation, but the Senate disagrees and believes this whole process should be done completely differently. 1042 by Wallace of the House and Thompson of the Senate, an act relating to public finance. House Republicans say Oklahomans need inflation relief now. That's what you saw the House of Representatives do today, is take a, a big step, bold step forward in addressing um, in addressing inflation relief with income tax cuts and with grocery tax cuts. The Senate has already said the House is rushing through tax reform because of a feud between that body and the governor. Instead of voting on the bills today, the Senate has set up a task force to look at tax reform. They gave a smorgasbord of ideas with no leadership behind it. They literally are throwing things against the wall. They're counting us to be the adults in the room. We will be the adults in the room. The House's position is that they don't need to meet any further about tax reform or inflation relief. For us, it's not a situation where we needed to put a task force together this summer because we've been advocating for these policies for several months now. And we, we did the research and, and all that during regular session. So if they know what they want to do, then why did they pass four or five bills in the same arena? That's the most asinine thing I've ever heard. So if you know what you're going to do, then do it. Pass it. Meanwhile, the proposals from the House appear dead on arrival in the Senate. The House says the Senate is moving too slow, but the Senate says even if they wanted to take up those bills, they could not because the House has already concluded meeting on inflation relief. <laughs>